Loading scenario 127. Now, we shall see how impressive you truly are. Gamers and gamettes, what is going on? My name is Tanek127 and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And in today's video, got some pretty cool news I wanted to share with you guys and stuff like that. Now, um, I'm sorry that I am a bit late covering this because um, uh, they had actually shared this um this Q and A on Twitter on August 21st, and I know I'm bringing it to you guys a week later, but um. Better late than never, and the reason I wanted to get into this Q&A because it gives like a lot more insight on co-op and some of the future plans for this game. Now, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the answers in here are very vague, and I, ugh, I, I hate how vague they are with the multiplayer in this game. Like, I hate it. I hate it. And it seems that like in this Q&A, a lot of people are asking for Dark Souls-like suggestions, and that makes me think start to wonder if the co-op in here kind of works like um like dark souls in a way like we already know that you know the only thing you can really do is bring friends along with you for dungeons and bosses so i'm wondering if it has that dark souls like theme where you know there are certain areas you can only do single player and then every time you reach like a new zone you can you know how in dark souls like dark souls like every time you reach a new zone you can put down your summon sign or see summon signs of other players. Now I'm not saying Genshin Impact is going to have summon signs and and things like that, but I'm thinking their multiplayer co-op system kind of works in a similar fashion. There's a single player storyline, you know, you're meant to be a solo adventurer, but once you get to certain areas and dungeons and and boss battles and things like that, you can invite um, other players into your game by some type of um, method, whether it's an item or whether you just simply push the start button, go to your friends list, and hit invite. I have no idea how that's going to work. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and talk talk about this q and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just read straight through it, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the description below. You guys can share your thoughts on this. Let me know how it goes. And if any of you got to play in the closed beta, and if you did experience co-op, let me know in the comments. How was it? You know, what did you, what did you do? What did you experience? I'm really curious to see how this game is going to pan out. So it goes for question one. Can we have a more diverse chest rewards rather than just some basic items? Let's see here. Paimon goes to say, hashtag in the works. Closed beta one is just an initial test. Chest rewards will be adjusted in the future. So I'm sure, you know, if it's just a beta, they're not going to give you any type of um, crazy crazy items and stuff like that in a, in a chest. It would be kind of pointless, especially since, you know, the beta is just going to be a... Test is not going to be a stuff you can keep. But then again, in some betas, they do give you things that are a lot more meaningful and the chests are a lot more lame when the actual game comes out. So I do see what the person's, um, the point that they're making with that. But I, I also see that from the dev side. I don't think that's too much of a big deal. I think the loot's going to be pretty satisfying. You know, you, you can't have a hack and slash RPG style game with, with no good loot. I, I'm sure there are. You know, and if this game's going to be as good as Honkai Impact supposedly is, or Hokai Impact, uh, however you pronounce the name of that game, um, I'm pretty sure the loot's going to be all right. Um, question two. Can we have some kind of unknown areas in the game that cannot be viewed on the map? And Paimon goes to say, Paimon actually says, actually during closed beta 1, there was already an island that was off the grid but could be found by most dedicated travelers. Travelers will be able to find more places like this in the future. And that's actually interesting because I was watching a video of some guy. I can't remember his name. But um, he went off to some secret area and he fought like two crazy over-leveled bosses um, by himself. They were just like regular mob bosses running around. But he went and did it did it solo. He said it was like some secret place in the game. So um, the, the, the community manager, he does have a point with there. They did have that. I actually saw that in a video. I wish I had a link to it. If I can find it, I'm going to pin it in the comments. Um, question three, will there be a tavern that serves particularly as a chat room? Now, whoever made this question, I like this idea because that basically just sounds like a social hub. And I think for this game, a social hub would be a very, very, very good idea and something good to do um, for this game, especially since, you know, the multiplayer seems to be very limited um, anyway. Having a good way to, you know, to meet up with other players, chat and stuff like that, you know, and have friends for points in the games where you need help. I don't, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. But their response says, Cheers. Though Pyman, 
Paimon can't drink and sometimes even has to serve as emergency food, this idea sound still sounds great. Paimon will convey it to the dev team. So the fact that the community manager likes this idea is a really, really good thing, and I honestly hope they I honestly hope they do that. And he puts hashtag under consideration. So I really hope you know that they do come to bring a social hub in this game because I feel like you know that's something that wouldn't hurt it. And you guys know me, I'm a I'm a MMO nut. This is an MMO channel, so you know anything that's MMO esque added to this game, I, f I feel like honestly it'll just it, it it'll benefit this game. I don't I don't see how that can go wrong in any in any way. Question five goes to say, can we have some type of some type of monster album? Example, an album that shows all the details about certain types of monsters when the player has killed certain amounts of those kinds of monsters. And Pie Man goes to say, under consideration, we got Pyro Slimes, Cryro Slimes, Dendro Slimes. Hmm, is it really possible to make a complete album for everything living in that vast, mysterious land like Tavat? Hmm, I mean, I do think it would be um be pretty cool. The more depth, the better. You know, they could even add daily um challenges and things like that. More, the more stuff they do, the more they have possibility to you know to reward players, um, things to give players and stuff like do. People who you know like completing those challenge and hunting log kind of things. Honestly, it doesn't sound like a bad idea to me. Now this is where things start to get very Dark Soulsy. I want you guys to pay close attention to this one right here. This is what had me really wondering about how this multiplayer works in this game. Question 6. Can we bury letters in the game world? Similar idea to the time capsule idea. For our future selves or for other players to find in co-op mode. Now, for people asking to do things like that, being able to leave like letters hints, notes, and things, it really does make me wonder if the co-op in here is a very kind of similar thing to like a Dark Souls um, type formula. Is, is the co-op, you know, that limited? That's what I'm wondering. But he's, he does go to say, hashtag under consideration, so you know, that's a good sign. What do you want to get from the time capsule? How about Paimon's admiration? Paimon loves this idea. However, the workload will be unimaginable as it involves the co-op gameplay. Let's put it in our might do list for now, and we don't drain the dev team too much all at once. Okay, so they say that it's under consideration, but he doesn't seem too crazy um, about about that idea. Honestly, I'm not going to speak too much on that until I see how the co-op works for myself. But that social hub or chat area idea, I want that to happen. They better make that shit happen. All right. Question seven: There are slime breeders in the game. Can we keep slimes too? Paimon says that's not in planning. All creatures in Taviat deserve freedom. Let's not deserve freedom. Let's not keep slimes in a cage or on a leash. If that's even possible, go meet them in the wild. Okay. Question eight: Can we have something like assassination or sneak attack gameplay? Example: sneak attacks against Hilly Curry bases at nightmare. Paimon says it's not in the planning. Um. If this is an action RPG, I personally have to say about that, why not? What's wrong with, you know, assassination attacks, backstab type of deals and stuff like that? But then again, they might try, they might, maybe they want to avoid, you know, looking like, uh, looking like Dark Souls. You know, they've, they've already got some criticism trying to look like Zelda, so. But his, his reason is says, remember the 225k missing hilly curls in closed beta 1? Those poor little monsters are already suffering enough. Let's try not to oppress them. In ways. I mean that that's a funny that's a funny response. Just you know to for um for damage controlling and to say they're probably not planning to do that. But I mean sneak attacks and assassination abilities when you already have you know dope looking characters with really cool um you know particle effects anime style you know battles and things like that. My 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 honest logic to that is why not? But what whatever. And question nine: In co-op mode, can we leave some messages or hints for other players? Another thing, like Dark Souls, like I was saying before, when we leave their world for fun. Example: Leaving a note saying, "Your apples are in good hands now." Paimon goes to say, "Not in planning. There is still so much to be adjusted for co-op mode." Paimon will take notes about this cool idea. Okay, and that was the last of the questions for the um for that. The one concern I do have when it comes to um to a lot of these is. Again, they're very sketchy when it comes to talking about co-op, and they're very hesitant about adding, like, any social aspect to it. And 
if, if these guys, you know, if they're if they're trying to you know to go that um solo game with some limited co-op features route, guys, do yourself a favor. Take a look at Dark Souls and look at how it's evolved with the times. Dark Souls and Demon Souls, those two games, um, from software learned that players, when it came to the co-op experience, just wanted more simpler ways to play the game with their friends. That's why games like Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne, and Dark, even Dark Souls Remastered, they had updated co-op systems, you know, that had passwords and stuff like that, making co-op easier restricting you know co-op functions and, and things like that people love multiplayer and action rpgs you know people like to gather with their friends and beat the hell out of monsters that what that's what makes um all kinds of action rpgs especially multiplayer ones very special today and i think you know the more restrictions you put on that i think the worse it's going to be so i i think personally some of these ideas that the um that the players are throwing out they really should consider but the um the social hub honestly just doing that or that chat room idea whatever they um they're thinking about doing that to my personal opinion i think that could settle 90 percent of these problems if they just throw that one feature in alone but that's just my personal opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let me know what y'all think about the um the co-op system coming up in Genshin Impact. But anyway, guys, y'all enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up button for me. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. It's your boy, Tanek127. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time, peace out. Take care.